today on my show of what I'm going to talk about on my show today is I'm going to do a movie review of what I just watched today is I'm going to do a 19A1 movie review of the Richard Pryor movie, Bustin' Loose. And the movie is directed by Oz Scott and Michael Schultz. And the movie stars Richard Pryor. And, and the movie is made by Universal. And I'll tell you a little bit of what the background plot is about. So the movie is about um, Richard Pryor's character, Joe Braxton. So, like, Joe Braxton was sentenced with parole. So, like, he committed, like, a crime again. So, like, his parole officer um, came up with an idea to help Joe Braxton out for his, like, punishment, like, what he did, like, of a crime that he was hired by a teacher named Vivian Perry. So, like, Richard, um, Joe Braxton, like, after he was hired by Vivian, so, like, his job is he has to repair and drive an old school bus but this time like while Joe Braxton is like driving like a school bus so like he has to take Vivian and like these special needs kids like from Philadelphia to like Washington to like a better place to live or something like that like, in the movie and I kind of remember of the of the plot from that movie I watched before, and I rewatched it again since it's been like so long. But and and I think in my opinion review of what I think about this eighties film that I think Oz Scott and Michael Schultz, I think both of them did an amazing job directing this movie, Bustin' Loose. And, excuse me, and also, like, in my other opinion is, I think Richard Pryor did an amazing job, like, playing in this movie, and I think his character, like, um, he's not just serious, but I think he's, like, a funny, like, person, like, first, like, him, like, um, Joe, like, he was trying to, like, get to know, like, the special needs kids, but then later in the movie, like, Joe finally got to know, like, each, like, special needs kids, and yes, they do have special needs in the movie, and, and I, and again, I think, um, Richard Pryor and all the cast did an amazing job playing in this movie, and I think, like, the child, like, s stars back in the, in the 80s, I think they did an outstanding job playing, like, the special needs, like, characters of, of the special needs kids with, like, mental problems or something. And... And that's why I remember, like, when I 
watched it before. And, and I do know that this movie is now like 38 years old. And, and I think this is an okay comedy, but it's not a bad, boring comedy at all. And, and if anyone, like, is a big fan of, like, Richard Pryor films, or if you have not seen this movie for, like, a long time since you watched this movie back in, like, the early 80s, then I would easily highly recommend it. It's just rewatch it and just check it out if you haven't watched it before. Or if you have not seen this classic film yet, then then again, it, I just said is I highly recommend it. It's just check it out and just give it a good chance of what you think of this film and I just want to let everyone know that Richard Pryor is not alive anymore because he died back in 2005 but I want to make this special tribute for people who remembers Richard Pryor and who were also a big fan of his movies and I think Richard Pryor is a good hilarious and again funny actor and he's not a bad actor at all and I think he did a wonderful job of his funny performance in this movie and I thought it was just I think it was also kind of entertaining, unless if you enjoy, like, classic films. And it depends on the movie audience if you enjoyed this movie. Or unless if it's outdated, and it probably is. And before I go, I also want to make this episode today for people who were a big fan of... Richard Pryor movies and and that's all for my show today and make sure to comment below don't forget to subscribe and click like on the bottom below if anyone enjoyed my episode today and that's all for my show today and see you next time